Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Scrumpy, and I'm going to be showing you how to use USB Explorer on your Xbox. Now, uh, what you're obviously going to need is just USB Explorer. And before any of this, um, in c if you guys know nothing about this, you have to have a USB flash drive above 1 gigabyte, and you put it into your Xbox, then you go to My Xbox, System Settings, Memory, then you click on the flash drive, and you configure it. Now, Anyways, after that, you're going to go ahead and, uh, once you're done configuring it, and, uh, before you configure it, it's going to, when you configure it, it's going to wipe out the whole thing, it's going to format it, so make sure you don't have anything that you like on there. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug mine in. Go ahead and plug yours in. Skip that. You don't have to open it. I will have a link for USB Explorer in the description. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Run as administrator. Here it is. Now to get your hard drive onto it, click open device. It's going to wait wait for a second. Okay, now you're going to click on content. And you're just going to add this and this. And uh, this is your profile. These are the games you've played. And uh, this. And, uh, this is your profile. These are the games you've played. And, uh, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, if you guys want a mod game, you can kind of click on it. And it works the same way as, uh, as, like, uh, as anything else, like, as any other modding tool would. I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, Export 360 or Explorer 360 works the same way as those. It's just a little bit different. Um, to go back, you click these little three dots. Now, uh, to mod to mod gamer pictures, themes, make your own themes, you have to make another profile with 16 zeros. So, after clicking content, uh, you're gonna click New Folder and put 16 zeros. Now making now modding gamer pictures and themes and whatnot, that's a whole other story that I'm not gonna get into, but then you're gonna make another folder called FFF E O seven D one. Right there. And uh inside of it, zero 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 two zero 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 three zeros, a number, and four zeros. Now the two is that's for gamer pictures. The three that's for themes. The then there's a bunch of zeros and then a two, and I believe that's for DLCs, I think. And then this one's for the one with that ends with a one. I believe it's for game saves. Not too sure. That's I use Explorer. Uh, for C60, don't don't click on that. Just click on content. That's the one you're gonna want to click on. And you have to find your profile. Um, now this is more of Explorer than export because on Explorer it doesn't show you like on export it says like which which numbers are the games, but here they don't tell you that, so it's a little bit confusing. But it's not too hard to understand. So yeah, here's here's USB Explorer. And uh, whenever you're done, say you just made a, uh, I don't know, you just modded your game pictures onto it that you want to download, which, like I said, is another story. But if you just want to know, you use thing called Gamer Pick Injector, and you put it in here. Well, then you uh, just put it in there. Then you take your USB and put it in your Xbox, and then you go to it in memory, and then you just move it to your hard drive, and it's just like using a transfer cable. I think if you use a transfer cable, though, and not USB, then you can't actually mod gamer pictures or themes, which is exactly what makes USB better. It's the same thing, but you get more. So I would highly suggest using USB Explorer. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is I might make later videos on how to actually inject gamer pictures or mod game saves or something like that, but this is just how to use UXP Explorer. Really simple. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, and remember, I'll have it in the download.